I've been in this city for only nine months. And today is a special day, not only because we celebrate Festa della Repubblica, the Italian National Day, but because we celebrate this beautiful community. And today, this is a magic moment, because all Italian institutions, together with all major Italian and Italian Canadian associations, they join their forces to create an event open to the community. And I guess this is something that has not happened before, because in one single event, we celebrate the Festa della Repubblica, the Italian National Day, we kick off the Italian Heritage Month, and I would like to thank two gentlemen that are here, Minister Sergio and Mike Tibollo, who, whom we have to really thank to have an Italian Heritage Month in this province of Ontario. And thanks to Nick Di Donato, we transformed Toronto's premier attraction into an Italian castle. So this is a very special time. <laughs> Grazie, Nick. Without you, we would not be here. Yeah, one but there's another sitting here in the middle reason why I'm so happy today. The first thing I think of and I would like to thank the sponsor that, that made it possible, because such a big endeavor would have, have never been possible way. without the Italian, Canadian community and, and, and companies open their arms to this project. But the weather. I'm particularly happy because the proceeds of today's event will go to help the teaching of Italian language. And that's a special, that's a special occasion. And I, and I would like to recall what Minister Del Duca said. The language is not only our identity, it's not only our heritage, but it's our best tool for the future of our kids. So I strongly encourage you to tell your children that, and tell the schools where your children study that they want an Italian program. There are more than 50 Italian programs in schools in Toronto. And there are about 20,000 students of Italian language in Toronto. Just a few elements. In the last 40 years, more than a million Canadians had the chance to study Italian thanks to Centro Scuola, the Ente Gestore, and I would like to thank them for what they did so far. And now we are in a moment in time when we must get together, united, because we are strong like we are showing today. We must really hold tight and continue promoting the teaching of Italian because that is our best investment for the future of our kids. And one last remark, because I've been advised to be short. Uh, there are many people to thank. And first of all, as I mentioned, Nick did a tremendous job always supporting us. Two gentlemen that are, are civil servants like I am, Alessandro Ruggera and Ascal Bova, they never, they never let me down. Grazie. And all the, all the co-organizers, take a moment to read at the flyer that you were given at the entrance. There is not only the program, but there is the Italian and Italian Canadian community back in this event, and that's, that's the most important part. And at the very end, there are two people uh, that they've not been mentioned and they work behind the scene, but without them would have been very much, very much difficult. Well, well, let's, and it's I Fabio Gesufatto. <laughs> all, the, all the entertainments that you have the possibility to, to have today is thanks to Fabio. He did it. And another person who has worked behind the scene under Nick's direction, she's a great energizer of the team, and that is Tanya Phillips, that I would like to thank so much from Liberty Group. Grazie, grazie Tanya. And, and finally, I would like a very short personal note to my family, because without them, I would not be here as well. My wife, Lilla, my son, Andrea, and my little daughter, Sofia, they have been helping me.
coming, coming back home, coming back home at 8, 9, 10 p.m. because we wanted to work on this, on this event and to give it to the community for free and to have everybody enjoy. I hope we did our best. I hope we succeeded. Thank you very much for coming. And enjoy the day. Grazie, grazie a tutti.